if you know that God has called you to be in a certain place, no matter what happened, no matter people who don't think you're capable or good enough, you know that God's called you to that place, so you know you're going to win no matter what. Hey ladies, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new here. My name is Alexis Ashley and I do faith-based videos faith-based videos so i'm coming back because i wanted to give you guys like um kind of like a tour a little bit not necessarily a tour but a glimpse of like my bible study space my prayer space and even my workspace because i do work from home but i spend majority of my time in this room and also give you guys a look at my war cart prayer cart where i keep all my bible study materials I have recorded a previous video with a tour of my war prayer card, which goes into more details than I'm going to do on this video. So I will leave that link below. Since the recording of that first video, I have accumulated more Bible study resources, more books, which I've done unboxing videos on those. So I'm just going to show you guys what this area and what this space looks like and how I utilize this space so we're just gonna jump right into it cause I'm not gonna hold you guys long today I wanted my space to look how it normally looks so I did not like do any organizing or straightening up how you guys see it is just like how it looks I do like stack my books up at the end of the day when I'm done with this area just so that it can be a little neat but you guys it's not like put together or anything which I don't mind. So this is my desk. As you can see, I have a whole stack over here. You guys seen these resources in previous videos. I will link the video for Bible study resources part one in the description, which goes over what these resources are as far as commentaries and study Bibles that I own. These are notebooks. This is my sermon notebook where I write my sermons. And I have a whole bunch of stickers that I got from like Amazon that are faith-based. And I am in the process of putting stickers on these notebooks that I utilize so that I can know which ones <laughs> are which. This is a book by E.M. Bounds on prayer. It's super thick. I think this is like seven books. Yeah, it's seven books in one. And I do pick up this book sometimes and read it. I haven't read through the whole thing, but just like if I have idle time, I'll pick up this book and just start reading and highlighting in it. Um, this is like a binder that I keep. I actually keep it under my desk, but I pulled it out to show you guys in this video. So I read scripture all the time. However, I'm intentionally reading the Bible from front to back. And so this is just a tracking sheet that I utilize um, to help me keep track of what books of the Bible I'm reading through. So I actually just finished Song of Solomon. And the next book that I'm going to be getting into is it's supposed to be Isaiah. However, for Lent, I am doing Ezekiel. So I'm going to actually jump and skip ahead and then go back it's a prayer notebook that i have um with just different things to pray for during different times of the day as you can see like if i'm up between the hours of 3 a.m and 6 a.m these are prayer points that i pray during that time this is a notebook that i use to do verse mapping so just to really dig deep into different verses or um yeah verses that i just want more insight on and deeper revelation on i just will verse map it and just study the different words in their original greek and hebrew definitions this is my area of just my stack of study bibles and commentaries that i reach for very often every day over here is where i keep my water bottle and then i have another coaster this is where i normally put my iced coffee in the morning when i have iced coffees um, this is a candle that I got from Target and it smells so good. It's tuberose. It smells really good. And then this is my morning devotional Upon Awaking by Jackie Hill Perry. So that is what I reach for first thing in the morning to get stirred up. This is another stack over here. This is a Daily Grace Company Emotions of the Heart study 
that I'm almost done with and need to actually finish uh, completing. This emotions of the heart study has been really helpful for me as a woman who just experiences different type of emotions. There's all these emotions that we have um, as human beings and even as women and joy is an emotion anger is an emotion love is an emotion and just learning how to steer these emotions in the correct way and surrender them to god like my anger when i'm angry the bible says be angry but do not sin and so when i find myself in a situation where i'm upset how do i surrender these emotions to God to where it does not cause me to sin. One of the things that I absolutely love is that knowing that I was created in his image. And so I can look at scripture and I can see, you know, the different emotions that God has. And I can see what he means when he says that he created us in his likeness because those emotions that God has and that we see um, him going through in scripture, we also experience those ourselves. And so we have a savior that is able to sympathize with us and empathize with us because he knows what we're going through. He knows how we feel and he also knows how to handle it. And that is where I want to be when I'm experiencing emotions that are uh, normal. However, they can put me in a position where they may cause me to sin. And so just learning how to submit those emotions to God, reading scripture to see how God handles certain things. Um, I absolutely love that. And so I do really love this emotions of the heart study. I'm excited about completing it. This is a brand new study that I actually just unboxed on my last video. Make sure you guys check that out. It's called The Attributes of God. And I actually talk about why it's important to study and know the attributes of God. So check out that video. This book is Discerning the Voice of God, which I am reading with a book club. I read this book about eight or nine years ago. So it has been actually really good to dive back into it and get back into it. This is my everyday Bible. You guys know and you guys have seen this Bible. I take it and carry it with me everywhere. I read it every day. I mark in it. I take notes in it. This is not going to be too far behind me wherever I am in this house. I have a sketchbook, which I talk about that in my last video. I'll link that below. And then here is another Bible commentary. It's my Moody Bible commentary, which I keep right here. And then my Ongers Bible dictionary. My Bible study resources that I know I'm going to be like reaching for every single day. <laughs> They pretty much stay on my desk. My desk is a mess. Um, so my stacks here on my left, my stacks here on my right are resources that I'm going to need when I'm reading and studying the Bible. So I don't want to have to reach too far for them. So they sit right here on my desk. So I'm going to take you guys to this little war cart, prayer cart, um, and show you guys some of the things that I have on here I won't go into too much detail because like I said there is a video which I will link below that kind of goes into every book that's on this however I've ordered new books since then but anyway I'll just start with some of the stuff I have sitting on the floor that actually needs to be put away I have some prayer notebooks these are old prayer notebooks and they have prayers that I have prayed from so many years ago and then also prophecies that I have gotten in the past years ago I like to look at these prophecies and read them and pray and like cultivate them and just pray that God would bring these things that he has not brought to pass yet bring them to pass that's why these are here they are normally in the closet behind me but I took them out again because I wanted to read them and pray about them and then i have some bible studies here this is the chosen study from the daily grace co and it is on the book of ephesians i have not started or completed this i think i probably did like two days but um yeah and here is a she reads truth stack of 
studies that I have. I'll actually be doing this one for Lent and this one is on the book of Ezekiel. And then if you want details on these She Reads Truth Bible studies and what they are, I will link the video that specifically is for unboxing and going through and providing details on these studies. On this bottom shelf of my war cart, I just have different books. A lot of these books are on prayer and some on fasting, um, but majority of these books are gonna be on prayer. I have Prophetic Romance, which I have not read yet. This book was recommended to me by Dr. Nina Bronner from Word of Faith. And I just have all these books. Like I said, a lot of these books are on prayer. I'll just give you guys a glimpse of that. You guys can check out the titles and look them up. I'm not gonna go into the details about those. These are some small little pamphlet books that I have that are like 30 minute reads. God's Creative um, Power for Healing. Most of these are like two, three dollars on Amazon. These are some Daily Grace Bible studies. This one is 40 Days with Jesus. I think, yeah, this one was the study I did last year for Lent. And then this one is Hope Has Come. This one was an Advent study. So I did this two years in a row for Advent. Um, we have some Fruits of the Spirit studies, um, walking away from anxiety and into God's word. This study was so good. If you have um, issues with anxiety, I highly recommend that study from the Daily Grace Co. And then these are other little Bible studies. This is a John study. I'm actually working on part two of this. This is a really good study that's a great companion if you want to read and study the book of john um, i have like a prayer notebook and my study excuse me my bible journal esv i won't take that out this is another small book called the blessing of obedience it's really probably like under five dollars on amazon this is like my first ever prayer journal that i've ever owned i still have it and god has answered a lot of the prayers in here um this is a devotional for mommies like expecting um and then so this top shelf is just books that i've been reaching for lately um and have read reread lately i read glory carriers this book is so good i highly recommend this book it is really good it really encourages you to like really tap into the holy spirit and just really acknowledging the holy spirit and who he is and carrying his presence because the bible says that we are the temple of the holy spirit but do you carry his glory do you carry his presence with you this book is really really good i highly recommend it we have Deliverance from Demonic Covenants and Curses. That's a really good book. Um, this is a 52-week devotional for wives. So if you are a wife, this may be something for you. Um, if you're looking for something to encourage you in your marriage. Bible Study Handbook, I recommend if you are struggling with learning how to study the Bible. So yeah, and then a fasting book. All the old school intercessors own this book. Your grandmother probably has this book somewhere in her house. I think it may be free online or you may have to pay for shipping, but you can get this book or order it from christianword.org. These are some stickers I got from Amazon. And then this is a small compact Bible. I'm not using this Bible. Um, I, I think when I first got saved, this was like my Bible I used to carry around everywhere with me and read it. So I'm thinking about donating this to Atlanta Mission. It's like a Christian homeless shelter and they um, do accept donations for Bibles. So that may go there. So back on the second shelf, this is my journaling Bible. And then I have a new King James Version study Bible down there. That is pretty much it for my Bible study space. Lots of resources. Um, this notebook is what I'm using while I'm studying the book of John, which I told you guys I am on part two of John. So I'm reading through the second half of John. And then this is the notebook I use to answer the study questions. 
this is where I keep like my highlighters and pens and also some sticky notes for note taking and sticking them in my Bible. And this area is where I will lay out on the floor and pray. Whenever I lay out on the floor and pray, I always have my war binder with me and I always have my Bible and a pen. I think it's so important that when you pray and you have your quiet time with God where you're sitting and you're listening, I'm not talking about the prayer where you talk, <laughs> um, not the prayer where you're like, prayers and supplication and things like that but being intentional about listening and hearing God's voice that is a form of prayer because prayer is a two-way conversation and I always think that it's so important in moments like that to have a pen to have a piece of paper so that you can write down what God is speaking to you and it's also important to have your Bible um, nearby so that when God gives you a scripture that um, you have your Bible to open up your Bible and read that because God will speak through his word. That is so important, you guys. And as I mentioned, when I'm down there, I always have my Bible, I always have a pen, and I always have my prayer war binder. Um, my prayer war binder has different sections in it. So it is a binder with different tabs it's broken up into five different sections so the first one is praise and confession um and the second section is self the third one is husband the fourth one is for my children and then the fifth one is for intercessory prayer so this is where i write my prayers so i no longer use um a journal like that that much I do have one journal that I use and I, I pretty much take it wherever I go or if I need or if the Lord gives me prayer points I'll write down my prayer points in that journal which you guys saw like the notebook that one has like that notebook the big one that I showed at the beginning of the video where I prayed during different prayer times that one has prayer points right and then I have a smaller one that has prayer points. This is actually where I actually write out my prayers. <laughs> and I've been doing this before I got married. Um, I got married in 2015. I probably started, um, I probably created my prayer binder in 2014. And I just write any and everything to God. I write him letters, I write my prayers. I also write down answered prayers. I haven't really gone back and read um, through my prayers to see like where God has answered. I want to do that one day. I don't. I don't know why. But I just feel like I'm not ready yet because there there were times where uh, I was like really emotional and going through some things, and I don't know if I'm ready to just like because reading that. I don't, I don't know if I'm ready for my mind to just go back there. But I did point out to you guys that my first ever prayer journal, I did go back and read this one and pretty much everything in here that has been prayed about or written in it has been answered except for one thing that we're still praying for and we are trusting and believing God is going to do it because he said he will and we know he is not a man that he shall lie he stands on his word and he stands on his promises I have a video on creating a war binder prayer binder which I will link below <laughs> quite a few videos I'm gonna link below but you guys also can go through my faith playlists and there's like so many um videos there and then my bible study resources video uh videos are under the bible study resources playlist but i hope you guys enjoyed this video of my space like i told you guys it's not the best space but it's my space and god meets me here and i'm so thankful for my home I'm so thankful for this room. I am very thankful for everything that God has blessed me with. I spend time in prayer praying for things and God is so faithful and I'm about to cry. God is so good and he's so faithful. Sometimes I look at my life like it's not the best, 
but I feel so blessed that um, that God has favored me and in, in, in my life. Um, like I don't have the best of everything, but I'm grateful. I've spent time praying for these things and God, like when you pray and you know, you pray for things and they're being used to bring glory to him. It's a beautiful thing, like praying for a space that I can meet God in and God blessing me with this home. My, my husband and I blessing us with this home and just blessing me with this room and this space. Because I remember being at my grandmother's house and just like not liking it there because after, you know, people moving into that space and those different spirits in that household and just having to battle with that and then my atmosphere it was just like not a good space for me but I remember just like pressing through like even though my spirit just feels off here God and I and I feel like I I don't feel comfortable here but pressing past that and going in with the Lord anyway you know making my making what I could out of the space that I had and be like, I'm going to meet God in this space. I'm going to make this space an altar to him and pray. And I'm going to meet him here and read my word. And just having to having lived through that and being here now, I just feel so blessed. Just how God has just moved in my life, you guys. Um, I know sometimes we can see people on social media and we think they have it easy. But I'm going to tell you guys, like, it has not been easy. It's been war. And if I had to do it all over again, I would. Um, sometimes there's things that you're going to pray for that you're just going to have to war for. <laughs> and that's just what it is because God created you for such a time as this. So I love you guys. And I hope you guys are inspired in some kind of way. And um, yes, keep God first keep his word before you make time for prayer to get in your prayer space whatever that space is even if you're in an environment that you don't necessarily like find a way to press in press in god is going to reward you for that because the bible says that god rewards those that digitally seek him if you know that god has called you to be in a certain place no matter what happened, no matter people who don't think you're capable or good enough, you know that God's called you to that place, so you know you're going to win no matter what.